Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Intermediate. Okay, welcome intermediate students, intermediate class five. Here we go. All right, I'm going to start today with, of course, our little review of what we saw yesterday. But today we actually have some questions. So please remember to all you subscribers to the Baugan Inglés 4.0 that you can always log in through the website and ask questions through the website, bauganingles.com. And we have a team of teachers ready to personally answer all your questions. So if you're having any problems with any material or anything I say on the radio or anything you see on TV, write in. They will give you an answer. And then I will take the best questions. Well, not that, not that there are better, you know, any question is a good question. But I will take ones that I think would be most helpful to all the listeners, and that we have time for, of course, and mention them on the show. So I'll start with a question today from Sara from Madrid, who has asked an interesting question about the word, or words, every day. She said, okay, I would like to know, you know, she has written the question in Spanish, but uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to give you the answer in English. She has asked whether... The word every day is one word or two words. And that's interesting because it can be either. It can be every day, which as one word is an adjective meaning daily. And every day, as two separate words, is a time expression meaning each day or regularly. For example, every day. As an adjective for something that is normal, commonplace, ordinary. So I could say, these shoes are great for everyday wear. You shouldn't wear your everyday outfit to a wedding. Don't use the everyday dishes. It's a special occasion. Okay? I'm using it as an adjective to describe a noun, to describe something as daily, something we use or do Daily. Whereas every day means each day with an action. So I go to the park every day. I have to work every day, except Friday, well, except Saturdays and Sundays. Every day I feel a little better. Every space day I feel a little better. So in summary, Every day, as a single word, this is an adjective, so it's the one that is used in front of a noun to describe something as normal or commonplace. Every space day is, well, every is, is the adjective, and day is the noun, and it means each day. So thank you very much, Sarah, for your question, and a very good question. Thanks a lot. We really appreciate that, and I'm sure all the listeners will appreciate that as well. So, uh, also, we ha I have a second question here from Pedro, intermediate student uh, Pedro in Santander, who has asked another really interesting question. And this one, he said, okay, we're now working with the past tense, and I have a doubt, or he said, I have had a doubt, well, he should have said, I have had a doubt for a long time. So, many times I've heard the question, what happened yesterday? Can I say what did happen yesterday instead of the other structure? And so here, here we are with a very interesting question based around the use of the auxiliary verb in questions. Because your teachers always say, yes, you need an auxiliary verb in the question, an auxiliary verb. And you do, except when your question word, what, in this case, what happened, what happened yesterday... When your question word represents the subject, you do not need an auxiliary verb. Okay? Usually, this occurs with the question word, who. If I say, who broke the lamp? We do not say, who did break. Okay? We say, who broke the lamp? 
Okay, so what did you do? Here the subject is you, so you need the auxiliary verb, did. What did you do? But if we say what happened, the subject is what. So no auxiliary verb. Who did you give it to? A quien se lo diste? The subject is you. So we need the auxiliary verb. Who gave it to you? Quien te lo dio? The subject is who, the question word, so no auxiliary. Okay? Out of all the times that this happens, uh, usually the vast majority of times it is with the question word who. Okay? Um, it's with the question word who, but very often, well, some, well, I should say sometimes it does happen with what. What caused the problem? Okay? Who broke my watch? Who called? Okay? We do not need the uh, auxiliary verb did in this case. Great question, Pedro. Great question. Well done. I really appreciate that. And for all you people listening, if you have any questions, that's what I'm here for. Send them in, and I'm going to answer your questions. All right. Great job. All right. Let's, let's go ahead. All right. Okay. Let's move on with a little review of what we saw in the last class. Did. Did you listen carefully in the last class? So again, forming the questions. So here we need this, this auxiliary verb. Did you listen carefully in the last class? Yes, I did. Give me a short answer. Yes, I did. Did you study carefully? Yes, I did. Did you see me last week? No, I didn't. Did you speak German when you were young? Oh, really? Did you? Yes, I did. Yes, you did? Oh, okay. okay. Or, no. No, I didn't. Did you log into bauganingles.com today? I hope so. Did you? Yes, you did? Oh, good job. Did you email any of your questions to the teachers? Did you? Good. Well done. Did you test your progress? Oh, good. Okay, well done. Now, ask me. Ask me if I read a book yesterday. Did you read a book yesterday? Very good. Yes, I did. Ask me if I went to Canada last summer. En voz alta. Out loud, at home, please, with me. Ask me if I went to Canada last summer. Kyle, did you go to Canada last summer? Yes, I did. Ask me if I ate lunch at home today. Did you eat lunch at home today? Good. Ask me if I lived in Canada when I was 10. Did you live in Canada when you were 10? Yes, I did. Ask me if I worked for Vaughn Systems five years ago. Did you work for Vaughn Systems five years ago? Yes, I did. Ask me if I taught English classes in 2005. Ask me. En voz alta. Ask me, ask me. Did you teach English classes in 2005? Yes, I did. Ask me if I knew Richard Vaughn in 2006. Did you know Richard Vaughn in 2006? Good. Yes, I did. Ask me if I got my driver's license when I was a teenager. Did you get your driver's license when you were a teenager? Repeat that. Repeat that. Did you get your driver's license when you were a teenager? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Good job. Remember, driver's license is uh, the North American term. In Britain, I believe they say driving license. So driver's license or driving license. Word of the day. Oh, yeah. All right. It's time now for our word of the day. How do you say chapucero? Chapucero. Mm, yeah, ooh, good, yes. Sloppy. Sloppy. Mm, sloppy. Very sloppy. The adjective, he, it's a sloppy, he did a sloppy job. He did a sl so a construction work, a construction job, let's say, or I'm fixing something, but I don't do it very well. A, a little bit careless, and it, it, doesn't, it doesn't turn out well. It's been done very in a very sloppy way it's sloppy now be careful not a uh, sloppy but sloppy okay good job the word of the day there you go sloppy okay now i want to move on and talk about cut 
Here we are in class number five. Cut in the past. I cut my finger. Oof. I cut my finger yesterday. I cut myself. So we're practicing. Make sure you're following along in your student guide. We're practicing here with reflexives as well. Yes, I cut myself. I cut myself when I was shaving. Mm. I cut myself when I was shaving. Also, two weeks ago, I cut my finger. I cut my finger. Now, I didn't, I didn't cut my finger off. I would much rather cut my finger than cut my finger off. If, if I cut it off, that means that I have actually severed the entire finger and it's completely gone. Oh, boy. Have you ever cut your finger? Yes? You've cut your finger? Have you ever cut it off? Oof, terrible, terrible. Sometimes, if, if you do cut your finger off, sometimes the doctor can sew it back on. Coser, to sew. The doctor can sew your finger. Hopefully, hopefully, sew your finger back on, but pff, terrible. I cry when I cut onions. Mm, it's true. I also cry when I cut my finger. I cut vegetables yesterday. But I didn't cut any meat. So, cut, cut, cut. Okay, so here with the reflexives, ask me. Out loud, en voz alta, siempre en voz alta en casa. Ask me if I cut myself yesterday. Did you cut yourself yesterday? Good. No, I didn't. Not yesterday. Ask me if I cut myself shaving. Did you cut yourself shaving? Ask me if my brother cut himself while cutting apples. Did your brother cut himself while cutting apples? Good. Ask me if my mother cut herself while cutting chicken. En voz alta. I can't hear you. Did your mother cut herself while cutting chicken? Hmm. No, she didn't. My mother is very experienced at cutting uh, meat and vegetables, so she, she rarely cuts herself. Ask me if my father cut himself working with his saw. His saw. Saw. Sierra. Saw. Ah, yes. did he cut himself working with his saw? Saw. Yes, he cut himself working with his saw. It's The pronunciation is, and, and spelling are the same as the past of the verb to see. Today I see, yesterday I saw. And then we have a saw for cutting. Sierra. Vocabulary of the day. All right, yeah, it's time to take a look at the vocabulary of the day. That's right, the vocabulary of the day. The first word today... In fact, in three words, we have in Spanish we have three words: tan pronto como, or also en cuanto. In English, as soon as, as soon as three words: as soon as. I'm going to go home as soon as I finish recording the show. Yes, al lado de. Beside. Beside. Fíjate que no, no digamos besides, sino beside. Porque besides, con ese, is además de. Besides, and in addition, in, in addition to that plus, besides, you know, I, I, I need a vacation because I work a lot. And besides, I'm tired. For example, but a lado de beside, without the s. Confiado. Confident. Confident. Defectuoso. Defective. Defective. Very good. Defective. Máquina tragaperras. Slot. Machine, slot machine. Slot significa ranura. Entonces, slot como máquina de ranura, porque hay un, un, una ranura ahí. You put your coin in the slot. It's therefore a slot. Slot machine. 
Repeat, slot machine. Not a slot, but slot machine. Slot machine. Conmigo, slot machine. Very good. Okay. Do you think you'll listen to the radio show tomorrow? Do you think you'll... Yes, I think I'll listen to the radio show tomorrow. Give me a full answer at home. Do you think you'll learn a lot from the TV program? Yes, I think I'll learn a lot from the TV program. Do you think you'll take advantage of the TV, radio, website, and the mobile phone content? Yes, I think I'll take advantage of the TV, radio, website, and mobile phone content. Take advantage of. Aprovecharse de algo. To take advantage of something. Do you think Real Madrid will win the league this year? Yes or no? I don't know. Yes, I think Real Madrid will win the league this year. Or maybe, no, I don't think that Real Madrid will win the league this year. We have a that, that, which is optional. I think that Real Madrid will win. I think Real Madrid will win. That, la palabra, la palabra, that is optional here. Who do you think will win the league? I don't know. Who do, who do you think? Maybe you think that Barcelona will win. Maybe you think that Seville will win. I don't know. Who do you think um, will win the Tour de France next year? Do you think Lance Armstrong will win the Tour de France next year? Do you think Alberto Contador will win the Tour de France next year? We say in English, Tour de France. We, t- we, we, we borrow that word, well, that term, from French. In English, we tend to respect uh, other languages for certain things. We say, um, you say in Madrid, in Spain, the um, noche en blanco. And we say, la nuit blanche, which is French. But we acknowledge that in English. And around the world, in Canada, in Toronto, they say, for the nuit blanche. Which is, because it, it, it's a French, it was, a, it was started uh, by the French. So we, we say the Tour de France which is French, but we, we, we tend to respect uh, things like that, names that are in, uh, in other languages. We often respect them in English, and we don't, uh, we don't change them. Uh, do you think Fernando Alonso will win the championship again? Yes, I think Fernando Alonso will win the championship again. Do you think Spain will win the next World Cup? Yes, I think Spain will win the next World Cup. Do you? I don't know. Do you think Rio will do a good job hosting the Olympics? Do you think so? I don't know. Do you think the Olympics in Rio will be as impressive as the Olympics in Beijing? Hmm. I don't know. So give me an answer. Yes, I think the the Olympics in Rio will be as impressive as the games in Beijing. It's your opinion. I don't know. Okay, we're completely out of time. Remember, any questions, send them through the website. That's all for now, guys. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back with the advanced class. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.